please rise for the singing of our national anthem. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Kasumnis River College, I want to welcome you to our commencement celebration. I am Dr. Edward Bush, and I have the honor and privilege of serving as the president of this dynamic college. It is my pleasure to welcome the graduates and their families and friends to this wonderful occasion, a ceremony that signifies the accomplishment of our students' educational goals and celebrates their academic achievement. As we begin the festivities, I want to thank the Kasumnas River College Concert Band and Professor Grant Parker for the beautiful music this evening for our processional and for the performance of our national anthem. I'll begin the ceremony by first introducing our stage participants and guests. There are set, there are starting on my far right. I'd like to first introduce Mr. Tony Tran, President of Student Senate. Mr. Sal Garcia, student and keynote speaker. Dr. Kimberly McDaniel, Vice President, Student Services and Enrollment Management. Ms. Teresa Matista, Vice Chancellor of Finance for Los Rios Community College District. Ms. Kay Albiani, Los Rios Board of Trustees. And now beginning on my far left, we have Ms. April Robertson, President Classified Senate, Ms. Julie Oliver, President, Academic Senate, Mr. Corey Wathen, Vice President, Administrative Services and Student Support, Ms. Ruth Scribner, Los Rios Community College Board of Trustees, and Chancellor Brian King, Los Rios Community College District. Let's give them all a round of applause. We are honored to have such distinguished guests, and we thank them for their support and participation in tonight's commencement ceremony. I would like to call upon Chancellor King to bring you greetings on behalf of the district. Thank you, President Bush. Uh, President Bush shared that this is his first commencement at CRC, his first year as president. 
It's his first commitment as a president, as a first time president. Let's congratulate President Bush. And congratulations to all of the students before me, as well as to your family and friends. This is certainly a team endeavor to get to graduation, and this is absolutely the best night of the year in the lives of our colleges. And you may not know, this is one of four graduations taking place in the Los Rios District at American River College, here at Folsom Lake College, and Sacramento City College. But we all know that the best graduation of the four is where? Right here. So on behalf of the whole district, I want to welcome you to tonight's graduation ceremony. And I want to uh, share with you that our district has been in ex existence more than 50 years and has been very successful because we have had an outstanding leadership. And I want to acknowledge one of our elected trustees who is in her 20th year of service, who is retiring at the end of this year, and a woman who needs very little introduction, an Elk Grove native, Kay Albiani. Kay, would you stand so we can acknowledge you? Kay has been a huge part of the success of Los Rios and Casumnes River College over the last 20 years. It is important to congratulate all of our students tonight for your success and also the people who helped guide you on this path. Students, why don't you acknowledge the faculty for their leadership in getting you where, they, where you are tonight? It is exciting to see this celebration of Hawk Pride here tonight, and I know that pride runs deep. So on behalf of the district, again, I congratulate you on your achievements and wish you all continued success and good fortune in years to come. Now I have the honor of introducing another member of our seven-person elected Board of Trustees who has also served for 20 years, Ruth Scribner. Ruth? Thank you. Good evening. It is indeed an honor and a privilege to be here. Welcome on behalf of my colleagues on the Los Rios Community College District Board of Trustees. I am joined tonight by my dear friend, mentor, and colleague, Kay Albiani. Together we extend our warmest greetings to all the family, friends, faculty, and staff who have joined us, joined you specifically, on this night of celebration in the home of the Hawks. To our graduates, a very special welcome. We appreciate your trust and confidence in choosing Cosumnes River College and Los Rios Community College District, and we don't take that for granted. You came here with dreams and aspirations for your future. Without doubt, College is hard work. Your determination and diligence earned you your place on the floor tonight. You made it. Success is yours. Revel in that. For many of you, this is the beginning of what is sure to be many more accomplishments in your lifetime. Your Los Rios education has prepared you to continue to pursue your goals. Congratulations. Best wishes for future success and happiness. Now please join me in welcoming Professor Julie Oliver, President of Cosumnes River College Academic Senate. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for the opportunity to speak to you tonight. You said yes. You said yes to registration. You said yes to enrolling in courses. Yes to endless hours of studying. Yes to projects and group work. Even through extremely challenging life moments and struggles, you continued to say yes. You said yes to your education. In the words of the forever inspirational and forever beloved Nelson Mandela, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. You said yes to your education. Now please say yes to changing the world for the better. 
Inevitably along your path of saying yes, there have been people supporting you. Faculty and staff at the college, friends and family, other students. Now you need to be the supporter, the encourager, the inspiration for others to say yes. Yes to education. Yes to changing the world for the better. On behalf of all the faculty at CRC, I want to applaud you for saying yes, for continuing to say yes until you got to this day. Although today might be the end of your path at CRC and it might just be the beginning of your educational path, please always say yes to striving to learn new things. Yes to new educational experiences, whatever form they may be. So again, on behalf of the faculty at CRC, congratulations on saying yes to your education, and now go change the world. Now please join me in welcoming April Robinson, CRC's Classified Senate President and Vice President of Administrative Services and Student Support, Corey Wathen. On behalf, sorry, I'm short. On behalf of CRC's classified staff, I want to congratulate all of you on reaching your goals that have brought you here this evening. It marks a major accomplishment. The completion of countless lab and lecture hours, of long study sessions, and more reading and writing than you ever thought you could get through. Each of you walked a different path to get here, but here you are. The classified staff are proud to have helped you on your path to success. From the time you likely talked to one of our outreach specialists at your high school, to submitting your graduation petition to be here today, <coughs> every aspect of your educational experience has been impacted by a classified employee. From the classroom instructional assistant to the cafeteria to the college's financial aid office, classified employees were there to help you reach your goals. Just as classified employees are at the front line working to better ensure a college experience, many are working to build better neighborhoods and communities as well. They work for local charities and, or are volunteering, for, volunteering in youth sports programs. Classified serve their communities with the same pride that they serve their students at CRC. Tonight we'd like to recognize a couple of our classified who are retiring that have been with us for a very long time. We have two staff members retiring this year. One is with us tonight. Barbara Nuss, can you please join us on stage? Barbara has been at CRC for 42 years as a library media technical assistant. She likely helped many of you if you made it into the library for class assignment. Thank you, Barbara, for your many years of dedicated service to our students. retiree couldn't make it here tonight, but I want to take a moment to recognize Judy Kimura. Judy has been at CRC for 25 years and in the Los Rios district for more than 40 years. She has served as the administrative assistant to our vice president of student services and helped many international students as well. Let's give Judy a round of applause for her commitment to our students. Thank you, Corey and April. I'm excited to be here tonight. I'm sure for many of you, it is your first commencement ceremony at Kasumnes River College. Well, as you heard, it's mine too. I became president of CRC last July. 
I want you to know that in that time, I have found the faculty and staff here to be passionate, energetic, and committed to seeing each of our students succeed. They are the very foundation of this college with a diversity of backgrounds, experiences, and wisdom. And I'm sure you can attest to someone on this campus who has made a difference in your path to getting a degree. For us, commencement is a true demonstration of the work we do and is a pleasure to celebrate and honor you. I want to begin my address by telling you a story. It's a story that has been around for many years, so some of you may have heard it, but I thought it would be appropriate given this particular occasion. One day, a farmer's donkey fell down into a well. The animal cried pitifully for hours as the farmer tried to figure out what to do. Finally, he decided the donkey was old and the well needed to be covered up anyway. It just wasn't worth it to retrieve the donkey. He invited all of his neighbors to come over and help him. They all grabbed a shovel and began to shovel dirt into the well. At first, the donkey realized what was happening and he cried horribly. Then to everyone's amazement, he began to quiet down. A few shovel loads later, the farmer finally looked down the well. He was astonished at what he saw. With each shovel of dirt that hit his back, the donkey did something amazing. He shook it off and took a step up. As the farmer's neighbors continued to shovel dirt on top of the animal, he would shake it off and take another step up. Pretty soon, everyone was amazed as the donkey stepped up over the edge of the well and happily trotted off. Now I know what some of you are thinking. Perhaps some of our veterinary tech students are feeling like that donkey had better get some medical attention as he may have hurt itself in the fall. Engineering students are wondering why the farmers didn't make a lift to get the donkey out. It would have been easy, so easy to make a harness and hoist with some chains and rope. Math majors are calculating how long it would have taken and how many shovels of dirt would have been required to get the donkey to the top. Philosophy, philosophy majors are contemplating and are still contemplating. <laughs> the moral of the story, of course, is that life is going to shovel dirt on you, all kinds of dirt. The trick is getting out of the well is to shake it off, take a step and today, class of 2016, this is your step up. You have heard the adage, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Remember, each of your troubles is a stepping stone. You can get out of the deepest wells just by not stopping never giving up. Shake it off and take a step up. Our world is filled with successful people who were able to overcome major obstacles and failures. And in fact, many of them would attest that it was their perceived failure 
that allow them to be successful. Here are a few examples. Fell 1,000 times before creating the light bulb, inventor Thomas Edison. Was told she was unfit for TV, talk show host, and media mogul Oprah Winfrey. Was homeless and used to sleep on the sofa of the dance studio, actress, dancer, singer, Jennifer Lopez. First novel was rejected 30 times. Renowned author Stephen King. Dropped out of school at the age of 10, one of America's founding fathers, Benjamin Franklin, was passed over for the editor-in-chief position of Vogue magazine, fashion designer Vera Rain couldn't get signed to any record label, rap icon Jay-Z. Was a single mother living on welfare, Harry Potter's author J.K. Rowling. Placed on academic probation with subject to dismissal during his second year of college. CRC President Dr. Edward Bush. We all have a story of stepping out of the well. Life is changed, but with some changes like graduation, we can feel awed or overwhelmed and frozen by fear. The difference between a courageous person and a coward is not the absence of fear, but their ability to, but their ability to do something while being afraid. Your job now is to face your fear and to dust yourself off and step up even when it is scary to do so. What you have each accomplished is significant. Some of you are likely the first in your family to receive a college degree. Others have overcome major challenges just to be here. Some have battled medical issues and family crises. Through it all, you stepped up. Despite the dirt, you are still here. But you didn't get here alone. You had some help from family friends, maybe co-workers, the faculty and staff here at RCC. The path to reaching your goals always has some support from somewhere along the way. So graduates, I'd like to ask for you to stand and give those who are here today supporting you a big round of applause. turn audience and those of you in the audience <laughs> and those of you in the audience please help me acknowledge the hard work and dedication it took for our graduates to be here today at CRC, commitment is the true demonstration of the work we do. It renews and energizes us to know we have played, help you reach an educational milestone on your path in life. I know that many of you have made lifetime friends while you were here and will stay in touch with your professors. We love hearing about your continued journeys, Realizing your potential could change your life and make a difference in the lives of others. I hope you feel empowered to make that difference, that you leave here with a deeper curiosity and respect for people and your surroundings. 
Congratulations, class of 2016. Good evening, I'm Dr. Kimberly McDaniel and I'm the Vice President of Student Services and Enrollment Management. When faculty retire, we have a tradition of taking special notice of the occasion through the conferral of faculty emeritus status as symbolized by a medallion we present to them out of respect and gratitude for their years of service to this institution and to its students. Tonight we give three of our faculty and bestow this medallion. I'd like to announce the names of the retiring faculty and call to the stage those are here with us tonight to receive this recognition. Elizabeth Biggard, although not here tonight, served at CRC for 41 years. She started in our Disabled Services Program and then moved into General Counseling, where she was the Architecture Department's Counseling Liaison. We wish her well and thank her for her service to CRC. John Ellis, would you please join me? John Ellis began his teaching career in 1982 as an associate professor of architecture. After 34 years, John has become one of the most loved professor on campus and has mentored thousands of architecture students along the way. Thank you, John, for your tireless work in helping architects on their career path. We wish you well and thank you for your service at CRC. Lynn Violet, would you make your way down here? <laughs> Professor Lynn Violet has been a part of the CRC and Los Rios family for more than 40 years. She started as a student at CRC and eventually became the coordinator of our Child Development Center and then one of our early childhood education professors. Thank you, Lynn, for your years of dedication and service and we wish you well in your retirement. In recognition of these retirees, it is my honor to state that by the authority vested in me by the Los Rios Board of Trustees, I confer upon retired faculty the title Emeritus Faculty of the Sumnus River College. Congratulations. At this point, I'd also like to ask any other faculty emeriti to please stand so we can acknowledge and recognize you as well. Now I'd like to announce the administrators that are retiring this year. Please come to the stage as I read your name. Dean of Kinesiology and Athletics, Liz Bellier is retiring after 26 years of service.
so appropriate for our Dean of Athletics to jog her way up to the front of the, the podium. Yes, in her blue and orange tennis shoes, by the way. So next, I have the Dean of Careers in Technology. Bob Johnson is retiring after seven years. Bob? <laughs> Next, the Dean of Research and Planning, Kathy McLean, is retiring after 31 years. So, Kathy. <laughs> Please help me thank them for their service to our college. Now it is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Tony Tran, President of the Student Senate of Cosumnes River College. Thank you, thank you, Dr. McDaniel. Good evening, everyone. Once again, my name is Tony Tran, and I'm the Student Body President here at Cosumnes River College. I'm extremely delighted here to be here tonight and especially proud to be introducing our 2016 student commencement speaker. Graduates, although this may feel like the end of a very long road, you are now just looking over your shoulder, turning on your blinkers, and merging onto that highway of life. Amongst all of our graduates, however, I would like to highlight one. Giselle Garcia, she began her journey here at Cosumnes River College in the summer of 2014. And now, two years later, she will be humbly accepting her Associate of Arts degree in Social Science. Just recently deciding, she was torn between the decision of choosing between UC Berkeley and UC Davis. However, she has chose UC Davis. <laughs> so with my utmost respect and best wishes, I would like to introduce to you all the wonderful Giselle Garcia. Greetings to our esteemed college president, administration and faculty members, my fellow graduates, family and friends on this joyous occasion. Each and every one of us present are united, connected by something so common, yet so profound called the individual's journey towards self-discovery. It's this lifelong process involving the making of decisions that define us and mold us into the people we desire to be. When we reflect upon this process, we can liken it to this war in our hearts, this war in our minds, an internal conflict that from the beginning has plagued humankind. This battle and search for what is wrong and what is right, so, which prevails, the darkness or the light? Human nature's polarity has been this reoccurring topic discussed and debated amongst some of the greatest of philosophers, and yes, even common man, what is the essence of man? But why should we, you and I, as students, be concerned with this theme today? In simple terms, not only does our humanity universally unite us, but because our inclinations have dictated our past, they too will determine our future. And if a history of grievances can attest to a path dominated by darkness, how can our behavior now 
redefine humankind's legacy? Well, our very presence this evening signifies that through our education, we have taken that first step towards challenging the precedence of human nature. And for that, we have cause for celebration. Like an electric current surging, surging through our bodies, awakening our senses, education has been a force that has awoken us out of socially constructed shadows of limitations and into the light of progression and possibility. Now I want us to remember four elements of energy that have motivated us throughout our journey and that will continue to serve us as inspiration when we are running low on that electric surge. First, our instructors who saw things within us that we had yet to discover and they stood at the front lines of our classrooms eager to guide us in the direction towards the achievement of our goals. We are grateful. Secondly, our friends, who understand the struggle of emotional disarray, um, academic strain, and sleepless days that all blur together. We don't take you for granted. We thank you. Thirdly, our family. We have siblings whom we admire and deeply respect. Our parents and generations preceding us who have crossed borders, made sacrifices in our names, they have risen from their knees onto their feet so that we, you and I, could stand onto their shoulders and reach new heights, our dreams. We are indebted. Gracias. But lastly, ourselves. In his speech, the American scholar, Ralph Waldo Emerson reminded the scholar that, quote, in yourself slumbers the whole of reason. It is for you to know all, it is for you to dare all, unquote. We must fall in love with knowledge and validate our individual human experience. And in recognition that knowledge is only powerful when applied, we must seek to impact others, to inspire and propel change. So all of us present compose a cycle of, mu of mutual energy and inspiration that we can never let die. As these four elements in conjunction with education not only unify us, but person by person through action can solve the withstanding philosophical debate that the essence of humanity is good and that history can be dominated by light. Tonight may be the culmination of our hard work here at Kosumnas River. The days that blur together in the heap of assignments the material we struggle to understand, the sacrifices made just to make it to class. If fire refines gold, we walk through one of life's rings of fire and we're looking pretty good. But most importantly, we've changed. We're not the same individuals we were when we embarked upon this journey. And as we now take charge of our own process of self-discovery, and we choose to mold our characters with the force of education, we are defying limitation and darkness. So fellow classmates, we will not forget that we do share a burden of action in defying history's pattern of a prevailing dark human nature. And though tomorrow we partake of that great social responsibility, today, let us celebrate our achievements. That being said, congratulations to my dear class of 2016. Thank you, Giselle, for your inspirational speech. You nailed it. <laughs> Way to go. It is my pleasure to present the class of 2015-16 and share some facts about them. There are 853 graduates in this year's class, of which 330 are men, yes, and 523 are women. There are 198 students graduating with highest honors with a grade point average of 3.5 and above. You will notice that these students are wearing gold tassels. 
Some of them are also wearing gold stoles as an indication of their membership in Phi Theta Kappa, the National Honor Society. Yes. There are 363 students graduating with honors with the grade point average of 3.0 and above. And the average grade point average for this class is 3.1. Let's give them all a round of applause. Now our graduates represent students who come here at different phases of their lives and with varying interests. This year, our youngest graduate is 18. And our eldest graduate is 71 years of age. Seven hundred and thirty-two of the graduates are receiving AA degrees and 450 are receiving AS degrees, so some students receive more than a single degree. Please join me in acknowledging all of their accomplishments and wishing them well. Please welcome Trustee Kay Albiani to the podium for the conferring of degrees. Thank you, Vice President McDaniel, and welcome everyone. As many of you know, this will be my last opportunity to participate in these ceremonies. And I'm wondering, does that mean I've got a jog on the way out? <laughs> as Chancellor King mentioned earlier, I have served the, uh, as a district trustee for 20 years. And before that, I served on Elk Grove Unified for 18. So I've always had a special uh, relationship with Consumitas River College and this beautiful campus, its talented staff and faculty, and all of its wonderful students. I feel very privileged to be with you tonight. This is a very special moment for me and, of course, all of you. I'm going to take one second to talk to go take us down memory lane. Where we're sitting tonight, some of you will remember that this used to be called the Stonehenge. You say, Stonehenge, why? Well, um, more than 20 years ago, the district tried to, at least the college here, tried to build this facility, and they ran out of funding after they got the rebar and, and the foundations down. And so consequently, it took us a few years but uh, Trustee Scribner and the rest of the board we were determined to see this beautiful facility, athletic facility be built that we're sitting in today. So that was just a, uh, one of the things that I feel that we've accomplished that's very significant. We were also able to refurbish many of the uh, build, existing buildings, build new ones for as, for example, the Wind Center so that we can provide the current education facilities and the technical advantages that all of our students are going to need for their future. Thanks to the taxpayers of this community, we were able to complete these projects for, uh, that I have just mentioned. We also were able to build uh, CRC's sister college, which is Elk Grove Center. So with that, I also uh, am going to say, to get, get to my business here, what I'm, my job is, but I also want to say, who would ever thought we'd have a uh, regional transit center at the edge of the campus? I mean, I think this has been quite, quite a busy 20 years. I am the designated representative for Los Rios Community College Board of Trustees for tonight's conferral of degrees the moment you've all been waiting for. Will the candidates please, uh, for the degree of community college please stand? Please stand. I've been assured 
I've been assured that the 2015-16 candidates have met all the requirements and uh, received, uh, achieved the appropriate level of academic performance required for an Associate of Arts or Associate of Science degree from Kasumas River College. And so, on behalf of Los Rios Community College Board of Trustees, and by the authority vested in me by the State of California, we now confer upon you the appropriate degree of Associate in Arts or Associate in Science. You may mu move your tassel to the left to signify your graduation. Thank you, Trustee Albiani. Will the graduates please be seated except for those in the first row as we begin to award diplomas. As the stage party makes their way to the front of the stage to assist with the diplomas, I ask student speaker Giselle Garcia, who has the honor of becoming the first recipient of the 2016 CRC diplomas, to make her way to the front of the stage as well. Professors Lisa Marchand and Marcus Geisler, please step to the podiums to read the names of the graduates. Out of respect for all our graduates, I would ask that everyone please remain throughout the entire ceremony till all graduates have received their diplomas. Thank you very much. Giselle Mayela Garcia. Gina Timor. Jason Patrick O'Keefe. Julie Ella Short. Jennifer Leonisio. Lisa Marie Morangi. Lakina Renee Keys. Robert C. Burdekin. Katie Marie De Vincenzi. <laughs> Shayla Renee Ramirez. <laughs> Nazir Riaz. <laughs> Rochelle Danette Grover. <laughs> Nemo Ali. Hannah Arlene Elmore. Taylor Brienne Merrill. Arvin Joseph Gazan. Samantha Louise Taylor. Megan K. Elmore. Cynthia Sue Silayeda. Tina Nguyen. Paul Kent Ganley. Jacob Kaiser. Torres Deborah Esperanza. Stacy Marico Guerrero. Joanna Marie E. Perez. Teresa Marie Cerrantes. Justin Michael DePaul Bass. Serge Bachinski. Andrew Stephen Masters. Tiffany Va. Miles Cole. Sava V. Swan. Tristan Yang. 
Katrina Algoso Nguyen. Alex Zito. Simerjeet Kaur. Juan Carlos Rodriguez. Nyu Kyu Ben. Alexander Michael Nierman. Juan Kim King. Jenny Jane Golick. Erica Fossey. Rose Kulumotongi. <laughs> Sisi Paj Ku Van. Edda Fung. Paul Her. James Nicholas Mitchell. Will Harris. Monique Carlos Francisco. Juan Nguyen. Victoria Chung. Ben T. Nguyen. Meli Libao Lokiao. Aria Bhutani. Ngao Hong Ti San. Mary Lee Velasco. Shamila Dilnawas. Trang T. Nguyen. Stephanie Bernal. Ryan August Luth. Laura Allison Rukuchi. Eunice Sarah Kopi. Catherine Samantha McKenzie. Stephanie Sarai Mendoza. Caitlin Leanne Kloss. Omar Mesa. Alana Marie Chapman. Ziana Lachelle McGuire. Amber Campbell. <laughs> Melissa White. Patricia Renee Ochoa. Maria de Cepeda Gomez. Alexis Noel Lucero. B. Kate Tao. Tesfe W. Amar. Shayna Rachel Hager. Jasmine Elizabeth Burgos. Giovanna Isabel Mendizaba. Marta Angel. Jackie Roper. Jessica Jasmine Hayes. Tatiana McFall. Lucha Elena Mendoza. Shannon Rebecca Watts. Ella Sami Altaji. Erica Montes Dalton. Travis Lee Coleman. Albert Ricardo Troyer. Isela Valenzuela. Rainisha Knox. Jamika Jones. <laughs> Molliana Robinson. Marcos Boyes Lumbang. Yeah, Maria Fernanda Medina. Alec J. 
John Nem Singh Escala. Rochelle B. Febres. Israel Donald Abrieto. Jack Thomas Wright. Chris Edry Garcia Diaz. Caitlin Noel Vance. Janelle Marie Jenks. Heather Nicole Suggs. Marina Polishuk. Kristen Clausen. Sean Cal Sefan. Randall A. Sorensen. Serena Kua Le. Louis Lai. Christina Kota. Kayla Elizabeth Cooks. Irina Richard. Pedro Efren Chavez Valencia. Kirsten L. Newton. Fiona Eva Ma. Michelle Ali. Maria M. Cernioglo. Nicole Maria Dragas. Ina Marcoglo. Desiree Serene Jaramillo. Vasilisa Marcoglo. Rita Donnell Obi. Rick William Stewart. Tania Patrice Jones. Malkian Samilenko. John Michael Wheeler. May Lee Bang. Julie A. Costa. Amy Felicia Corona. Serena Sofia Sechow. June L. Weinhoff. Darren Sechow. Wasumi Suzuki. Lai Seli. Jeremiah Polanco. Monica Alejandra Gonzalez. Ivan Alejandro Sanchez. Aaron Hunter. Ricardo Raul Ayala. Jonathan Michael Rich. Isaac Villanueva Vargas. Heather Kathleen Moa. Jenny Annette Rodriguez. Nicole Larray Gilmore. Kimberly Lamentra Martin. Roberto Rodriguez Callejas. Elizabeth Rose Maestretti. Julio Cesar Feliz. Logan Herr. Shawana M. Thrower Lau.
Kylie Sarah Puckett. David Thomas Cameron. John Hernandez III. Lisa Michelle Whitehead. Corina Shonique Lawson. Michael Wayne Melancon Jr. Yadira Chavez. Robert Kongming Yang. Sharon Pugh. Kira Amanda Ramos. Louis Williams Benner. Alexander Marshall Ross. Vanessa Monique Hernandez. El Arbi Aburavia. Morgan Lemons. Sierra Ram. Gabriela Ann Preddy Ruiz. Melanie Zarivni. Don Greeley. Oksana Polyakova. Milo Griffin. Yalda Biglari. Jesse Antonio Valenzuela. Mina M. Poole. Sandy G. Perez. Kirsten Tanya Peterson. Marquis Blaisdell. Narama Na Rashid. Alani Kealani Kanai. Chua Chang. Abel Perez. Jimmy Vu. Ainai Franco. Kevin Taylor Vargas. Karina Gomez. Mary Elizabeth Rohner. Jennifer Lee Altshorn. Rachel Lauren Janandrea. Davina Diane Palialunga. Catherine Mendoza. Christian Ramirez Ramirez. Brianna Capri Banks. Alejandro Renteria. Cedric L. Thomas. Jennifer Elizabeth Velasquez Sanchez. Anjali Prasad. Danielle Elizabeth Aston. Jenny Chu. Michelle Monisha Singh. James Paul Nelson. Gabrielle Dominique Bruton. Christian Rodriguez. Jetty Lee. Dylan James Volkman. Yu Zhu Vu. May Ruth Burse. Benjamin Michael Owens. Somnan Bun. 
IB 10. Kevin Clark Prodal. Charlene Rivera Bassi. Lilia Oleshko. Julina Neng Lee. Jessica L. Ridley. Nicole Ann Ontiveros. Daniel Christopher Batun. Joy Eve Todd. Dwayne Lamont Ewing Jr. Grisalde Macabenta Estepa Jr. Devin Jamal Russell. Redmond Vera. Brianna Bavauta. Delilah Espinosa. Bernadette Fernandez. Beatrice R. Taylor. Yesenia Gonzalez. Mary Catherine Checky. Renee Woodward. Long Q. Lam. Marcy Basila. <laughs> Sam Tong. Pompey Aleko Armour. Nok Nguyen. Jules Inland. Emmanuel Martinelli. Jen Nguyen. Alejandro Medina. Susan Bang. Guadalupe Vizcarra. Ricky Thomas Jones. Jeffrey Aparicio. Rowan Spranza Villasenor. Your Lenny Yasmin Gonzalez. Chao Fei Fu Se Chao. Anna B. Cruz de Orellana. Kendra Rhodes. Rana Kaysen. Angela N. Lee. Iser Rebosa Gueco. Thomas J. Blackman. Trenton Kraus. Francisco Ramon Rodriguez. Michael Lee Dorman. Brianna Gray. Aaron Michael Fletcher. Mac Ira Clark. Jose Virgen Lepe Lopez. Nicole S. Temple. Angie Juanita Garcia. Robert Vincent Caporelli. McKenna Catherine Davis. Daniel Andrew Natko. Claudine Sala Capistrano. Kaylee Nicole Andrews. Pahua Hugh. Carly Melissa Williams. 
Michaela Lee Grubbs. Castellan Carmona. Nicole Fontillas. <laughs> Lauren Elizabeth Cox. Catherine Rose Johnson. Jacqueline Gonzalez. <laughs> Matthew Clay Burnett. Jordan Danielle Fisher. Robert Lee Haswan. Jessica Marie Sweeney. Gabriel Melissa Wallace Walker. Hannah Marie Strempke. Michael Darren Coyle. Caitlin Nicole Baguette. Roddy Giro Ono. Ben T. Chow. Ernest Dent Jr. Denise Bussas. Cam L. Ramirez. Mindy Min O. Anna Tu Bong. Cecily Kandari. <laughs> Kaifa Charles Yates. <laughs> Christine Elizabeth Clark. Stephen Villanueva Solomon. Emmanuel Espinosa. Ines Adrienne Balala Herrania. Magali Denis Cabrera. Richard Marcus Marquez. Plachette Carney. Graduates, please stand and be recognized by the audience again. Congratulations, graduates. We, we wish you the best as you continue on your journey from CRC. We hope you continue to stay connected to the college by joining the CRC Alumni Association and through social media, and let us know what you're doing as you reach your academic and career goals. And now, I ask the audience members to remain seated until both graduates and faculty have marched out of the auditorium. Thank you all for being here, and good night. <laughs>